Every day we receive questions from you, the customer, through email, social media, and from calls into our sales department. It's difficult to answer everyone's question that comes in, so this month we're answering a number of those questions about turbochargers, cylinder heads, and fuel systems. But today, we're focusing on rebuild kits. Here we go. What is the profitability of rebuilding a diesel engine versus buying a new reman engine? I would tell you that you're gonna be surprised at the cost that you run into and a complete reman engine. And also the amount of work that's gonna come along with that, swapping a lot of your parts over from the current engine uh, to say a long block bell housing, all your brackets, uh, sometimes fuel system components. Uh, even worst case scenario, if you have to take your engine out of the truck and say uh, machine your block and maybe put a crank in it, uh, I think you're going to be far further ahead uh, rebuilding your own engine. Uh, one, it's going to be significantly less money. Uh, good quality parts are out there and available to rebuild that engine it's also gonna be uh, something that you know exactly what you're getting. When you buy a reman engine from the OEM, a lot of times you don't necessarily know what you're getting in that engine. Are you getting a crank that's been turned a couple times? Are you getting, uh, you better believe everything in it's gonna be a remanufactured product. So one, it's gonna be cheaper to do your engine yourself. And two, you're gonna know exactly what you got when you're done with it. Do the piston rings in your rebuild come preset end gaps? Uh, yes, the rings, the rings are pre-sized. Now, uh, of course, you don't wanna not check the ring end gaps, and if you have special needs with your particular engine, uh, certainly check and make sure that they're within the specifications, but the rings should come pre-gapped. When do I know it's time to rebuild my engine? Well. Uh, you know, typically, uh, class eight diesel engine, uh, truck engines, you're, you're looking for somewhere between uh, 700,000 and a million miles. Unless, of course, you get into a situation where uh, maybe you've had uh, coolant in your oil or oil contamination of some sort, dust or dirt and debris coming through your air cleaner, low power, smoke, blow by, knocking sounds, those are all indications that uh, you may need to go into that engine. And if it's uh, anything over, say, five, 600,000 miles, and you gotta go into it for one of those symptoms, uh, it would be best to explore the opportunities of an overhaul kit uh, to take care of that while you're in there uh, working on that engine. Uh, what's the difference between an in-frame and an overhaul kit? How do I know which one I need? Good question. So the difference between an in-frame and an overhaul is essentially just gaskets. Both, both kits are gonna come with pistons and rings and liners and bearings. Uh, the in-frame kit is gonna come with a head gasket set and a pan gasket. The overhaul kit is gonna come with a complete engine gasket set. The, the things that don't come in the in-frame are gonna be front cover gaskets, uh, bell housing gaskets, front crank seal, rear crank seal, um, oil cooler gaskets, um, so a complete engine gasket set in an outer frame or an overhaul, and a head gasket set and a pan gasket in an in frame. What is the difference between a C15 and a C15 Acer rebuild kit? And can you rebuild a C15 with a C15 Acer rebuild kit? So the C15 and C15 Acer are gonna be different engines uh, altogether as far as the rebuild kit goes. Um, the only thing they really share is the name. Um, the, the pistons on an Acert are a one-piece forged steel piston. The pistons on a C15, uh, 6NZ or MBN, are gonna be a two-piece piston, steel crown aluminum skirt. Uh, they have different connecting rods, different crankshafts. So the feasibility of building your C15, 6NZ, MBN into an Acert uh, not likely, you're going to have to change a crankshaft, you're going to have to change connecting rods, uh, pistons. Uh, so that's, that's not a, a real good swap that way. The C15 Acer uh, definitely has uh, more durable pistons and heavier connecting rods and larger rod bearing journals. So uh, just all together a little bit stronger bottom end than the standard C15. 
If you have any further questions about rebuild kits from any major OEM, chat with us on highwayandheavyparts.com or you can talk to me or any of the other experts from Highway and Heavy Parts at 844-447-1453. As always, be sure to like this video and subscribe to us on YouTube and Facebook. From diagnosis through delivery, we're Highway and Heavy Parts.